Canecas is a former civil parish in the municipality of Odivelas, Portugal. In 2013, the parish merged into the new parish Ramada de Canecas. It is a suburb of the Greater Lisbon region. It is known for its picturesque landscapes, traditional architecture, and charming atmosphere. The village offers a tranquil escape from the bustling city, with its narrow streets, whitewashed houses, and colorful flower pots adorning window sills. The Public Garden of Conecas is a park located in the town of Conecas, which is part of the municipality of Odivelas in Portugal. It offers amenities and facilities such as walking paths, benches, playgrounds for children, and open spaces for picnics or outdoor activities. It is a popular spot for families, couples, and individuals who enjoy spending time surrounded by nature.
Colombo Shopping Center in Lisbon, Portugal is one of the largest and most popular shopping centers in Europe, with its impressive size, diverse selection of stores, and a wide range of amenities. Colombo offers a comprehensive shopping experience. The shopping center boasts over 400 retail stores, including both international and local brands, covering various categories such as fashion, electronics, home decor, beauty, and more. Visitors can find a wide array of products to suit different tastes and budgets. Alameda is a district located in the heart of Lisbon, Portugal. It is known for its wide pedestrian avenue, Avenida Almirante Reis, which stretches from Campo Pequeno to Marta Mana Square. This bustling area offers a mix of residential, commercial, and cultural spaces. One of the prominent landmarks in Alameda is the Font Luminosa, a beautiful illuminated fountain that serves as a focal point for events and gatherings. Nearby, you can find the Alameda Dom Afonso Henriquez Garden, a green space with trees, benches, and pathways ideal for leisurely walks or picnics. Alameda is characterized by its diverse architectural styles, including Art Nouveau and Art Deco buildings. You'll find a mix of shops, cafes, restaurants, and local businesses throughout the neighborhood, making it a vibrant and lively place to explore. The district is well connected by public transportation, with Alameda Metro Station serving as a major interchange hub for several metro lines. This makes it convenient to reach other parts of the city and explore Lisbon's many attractions. It offers a glimpse into Lisbon's urban landscape, with its blend of historical charm and modern conveniences. Whether you're strolling along Avenida Almirante Reis, visiting cultural sites, or simply observing the bustling street life, Alameda provides a vibrant and dynamic experience in the heart of the city. Alameda Park is a public park located in Lisbon, Portugal. It is known for its beautiful green spaces, tree-lined pathways, and serene atmosphere. The park offers recreational areas, sports facilities, and playgrounds for both children and adults. There are also several ponds, where visitors can relax and enjoy the surrounding nature. The Sheraton Hotel in Alameda. Lisbon is a luxury hotel situated in the heart of the city. It offers upscale accommodation and impeccable service to its guests. The hotel features elegantly furnished rooms and suites, equipped with modern amenities and comfortable furnishings. Its facilities include restaurants serving a range of international and local cuisines, a stylish bar, a fitness center, and a swimming pool.
The Saint Anthony Museum in Lisbon is a dedicated museum showcasing the life, works, and legacy of Saint Anthony of Lisbon, also known as Saint Anthony of Padua, located in the Santo Antonio Church complex. In the historic district of Alfama, the museum highlights the history and devotion associated with this beloved saint. Visitors can explore a collection of artifacts, documents, and artwork related to Saint Anthony, including paintings, sculptures, and relics. The museum offers a glimpse into the life and times of Saint Anthony with displays that depict his early years in Lisbon, his religious studies, and his missionary work in Italy. The museum also provides insight into the rich spiritual and cultural heritage of Lisbon as Saint Anthony is revered as the city's patron saint. It is a place of pilgrimage and reflection, attracting devotees and tourists alike who come to pay homage to this revered figure. The Saint Anthony Church in Lisbon also known as the Santo Antonio Church, is a historic Catholic church located in the Alfama district of the city. It holds great significance and is dedicated to Saint Anthony of Padua, a revered figure in the Catholic faith. Rua Augusta is one of the most famous and vibrant streets in Lisbon, Portugal, located in the heart of the city's Bexa district. It stretches from Torreiro do Paco, also known as Praca do Comercio, to Rocio Square. His pedestrianized street is lined with beautiful architecture, shops, cafes, restaurants, and cultural attractions, making it a popular destination for both locals and tourists. The street is known for its lively atmosphere with street performers, musicians, and artists often adding to the vibrant ambience. Rua Augusta is also home to several iconic landmarks, such as the Arco da Rua Augusta Augusta Street Arch at the entrance of the street. This ornate arch leads visitors from Torreiro do Paco into Rua Augusta, creating a striking architectural feature. Along Rua Augusta, visitors can also find charming outdoor cafes and traditional Portuguese shops selling a variety of goods, including clothing, souvenirs, and local crafts, it is a bustling area, particularly during weekends and major holidays. The Arco da Rua Augusta, also known as the Augusta Street Arch, is a notable landmark located at the entrance of Rua Augusta in Lisbon, Portugal. Standing proud and majestic, the arch serves as a symbol of the city's historical and architectural importance. Designed by architect Santos de Carvalho, the Arco da Rua Augusta was completed in 1873. It is an impressive triumphal arch, characterized by its grandeur and intricate detailing. The arch is adorned with statues, reliefs, and decorative motifs that depict important figures and events from Portuguese history. The arch consists of six columns, three on each side, supporting a central archway that forms the passage for pedestrians entering Rua Augusta. Atop the arch, there is a bronze statue of glory, surrounded by other allegorical figures representing commerce, industry, and the Tagus River. The viewpoint provides an excellent opportunity to admire the city's unique architecture and to take memorable photographs.
Paco do Comercio, also known as Torero do Paco, is one of the most iconic squares in Lisbon, Portugal. Located by the Tagus River in the city's Bexa district, it holds historical and cultural significance. The square is characterized by its grandeur and spaciousness, with its open layout showcasing Lisbon's architectural splendor. It is surrounded by elegant yellow buildings, which were reconstructed after the devastating earthquake of 1755. These buildings house government offices, cafes, restaurants, and shops. The square features a triumphal arch, known as the Arco de Rio Augusta, marking the entrance to Rio Augusta. This ornate arch adds to the square's grand appearance and serves as a prominent landmark. Today, Praca do Comercio remains a bustling and vibrant square, hosting cultural events, concerts, and festivals throughout the year. It serves as a gathering place for locals and visitors alike, offering a charming blend of history, architecture, and a lively atmosphere. At the center of Praca do Comercio, there is a large bronze statue of King Dom José I on horseback, paying homage to the monarch who ruled Portugal during the rebuilding of the square. The statue is positioned facing the river, symbolizing Portugal's historic connection to exploration and trade. The Tagus River in Lisbon is the longest river. On the Iberian Peninsula, it runs through the heart of the city, providing stunning views and a central focal point. It is known for its wide expanse and iconic landmarks, such as the 25th of April Bridge and the Christ the King statue. The river offers recreational activities such as boat tours and cruises, and its waterfront areas are vibrant hubs with bars, restaurants, and cultural attractions.